ओके नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ डिस्कशन ऑन डिस्कशन ऐसे देर आर फोर ऐसे टाइप्स इन टोटल एंड आउट ऑफ फोर टाइप्स डिस्कशन ऐसे एंड ओपिनियन ऐसे आर मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट ओके सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू राइट अ डिस्कशन ऐसे हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई द टॉपिक फॉर अ डिस्कशन ऐसे एंड ऑल दैट द फर्स्ट थिंग इज वेन एवर दे गिव यू अ टॉपिक फॉर डिस्कशन ऐसे they always give you two opposing views or two contrary views okay for example if they talk about uh, learning a foreign language and against that they will be preference to national language if they talk about foreign education then they will be local education if they talk about city life they will be village life so they will always give you two opposing views okay and how to understand it's a discussion essay very simple they will use the word discuss both views and then they write and give your own opinion now many students misunderstand they say give your own opinion means it's an opinion essay uh remember discussion essay is like a debate in schools colleges they have debate competitions right and uh, one team is taking one side other team is taking other side and then there is the outcome okay so discussion essay is more like a debate you have to discuss both sides in the end you need to conclude which side you support and that is your opinion i repeat in the topic it will be written discuss both views and give your own opinion so you will discuss both views and then you will give your own opinion and that opinion is basically uh, which side you support if you support learning a foreign language to promoting the national language so you will give your opinion i think it's better to learn a foreign language because the world has become a global village and you have to communicate something like that okay so this is important now how to write first how to identify as i told you it will be written two op op uh, opposite views will be given and the question line or the punch line is discuss both views and give your own opinion you identify it's a discussion essay number 1 when you write a discussion essay you may write up to five paragraphs you can write four paragraphs as well there is no problem but you should write five paragraphs the first paragraph is introduction in introduction you can write just two sentences if you want or you can write three sentences as well right so if you want to write two sentences first sentence is paraphrasing of the topic whatever the topic is you will paraphrase the topic and the second sentence is what we call thesis sentence thesis sentence is in this essay i will discuss both sides of the argument and draw a conclusion you can even write like that so this is what uh, this is uh, like two line introduction but if you want to write three sentences then you write a general sentence about the topic then paraphrase the topic and then you write your thesis sentence but both ways it is correct there is no problem if you want to write two sentence introduction you can do that after that you will discuss one side okay and try to discuss the side first which you support if you support foreign education to local education discuss foreign education first or if you support local education to foreign education then discuss local education first so you will just go on uh, you will just tell the reasons why you support that there can be one or two reasons right first of all let's discuss and then the first point then you can just give one reason two reasons you can add one example also if you want to and remember by this time if you want to write five paragraphs you will discuss each point impartially impartially means people think people believe if you go to a foreign country you can get benefits or something like that okay then you discuss the second point introduction discuss first point impartially discuss second points and you you can have two arguments for example now let's talk about or i would like to discuss about and then you can write the second uh, side of whatever the discussion is discuss it give a relevant example and then you can write a short paragraph this this one which gives your opinion 
you can write in my opinion studying in a foreign language is far better and more beneficial than studying in land and then you can write a couple of sentences to support your argument and then in the end you can write your discussion so if you want to write five paragraphs you can write like this now if you choose to write four paragraphs first paragraph is introduction second paragraph is the side you support in discussion there are two sides the side that you support and you will write i strongly believe because that is your opinion you are discussing and you are giving your opinion so you will discuss that side first then you will discuss the opposite side and then you will conclude your essay in conclusion once again you will restate your opinion and this is how you can conclude your essay now remember your essay is marked on four things number one they will see task response and task response means how thoroughly you cover the topic a discussion essay has three things to cover number one one side of discussion number two second side of discussion number three your opinion so if you don't cover these three things you may get low band on that so this is first thing we call it task response how thoroughly you cover the topic after this the second important point is grammatical range and accuracy they will check your sentence structures punctuation for sentence structure remember three c's compound sentences few complex sentences and conditional sentences when you give example so whenever there is an example you can use complex sentences you can use conditional sentences normally use compound sentences or you can use one complex sentence in a paragraph to show the i mean if your target band is 7 or above right very recently one of my students she got 7.5 band in writing and before joining that writing course she had achieved 6 band so from 6 to 7.5 she did a lot of practice she followed the instructions and remember essay writing is not something you attend as a lecture and then you understand and then you write and you get your desired band it's not like that another student of mine has recently attended a course from a well known ielts trainer who is a native speaker she paid 150 dollars for that course and in response what she got the link of videos only there was no correction nothing else and she came to me for the mock test before that i was giving her 6.5 and this time when she followed the instructions she got 6 band so sometimes new learning is dangerous if it is not aligned with ielts that new learning can be dangerous as well that's why i would say the best thing is read standard essays and rewrite them reproduce them that will help you okay after grammar the third thing is vocabulary and they will not see whether you have used high five vocabulary or not if the topic is related to study in your own country or uh, outside they will see how many words you know related to this topic you can use the word studying abroad studying in a foreign country international studies going outside going abroad Th these type of words they want to see okay so use a variety of words and you need to know a lot of synonyms how to say one thing in in a number of different ways that's what we say vocabulary and appropriate words don't stuff your essay with the the words which are not according to that context because you know a word and you want to fit in that word everywhere that sort of vocabulary will give you low bench score after vocabulary the last criteria is coherence and cohesion paragraphs and how you sketch your paragraphs sketching your paragraph means in the body paragraph first there is the main idea then explanation of the main idea then example related to that main idea and then conclusion so this is what we call a proper paragraphing or we call it development of ideas so you need to develop your ideas that's important okay uh, coherence and cohesion it 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 also relates to number of paragraphs you write for example if you're writing opinion essay you should write five and uh, this number depends on you no problem one of my students who wanted five band in ielts writing and he wrote everything in one paragraph imagine one paragraph of 300 words he didn't write any other paragraph just one paragraph and he got five band 
Okay, another student who wrote everything in capital letters in writing module, all capital. And uh, I was expecting he would get low band, but he got good band. Okay, so don't worry. They only check your natural writing skill. When you become unnatural by writing some cramped sentences, cramped structures, I can quote you another example. A student of mine without preparation got 6.5 band in writing and his target was 7. And he was like, okay, without preparation, 6.5. Now I need preparation and I will get 7.5 or 8. He did a lot of preparation and then he got 5. From 6.5 to 5, okay? So sometimes your preparation is in the wrong way. You go to YouTube, 20 words to get 8 band. Achha, I use these 20 words in my essay and all that. So be careful. I tell you, uh, Cambridge IELTS book number 18 has got some very good sample answers for band score 9, band score 8. Follow these answers. The way they have written academic or general training, book number 18, in the end, they have given some sample essays, sample letters, sample reports, follow that standard. Those answers have been written by examiners. And when examiners write, obviously they write for nine band. So you need to follow that. There is a lot of disinformation, which is very, very dangerous, okay? So discussion essay is most important one. Opinion and discussion essays, these two types are most important and you need to practice, okay? All right, good.